with Dr. Rhino Riley. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Rhino Riley. I drink a lot of things in the savannah and tea is one of the best of them. Tea is one of the many things that is beautiful. Actually, it's the only thing that is beautiful. Green tea, lemon tea, oolong tea, foolong tea. But one tea you should drink the most is English breakfast black tea. Why? Because I say so. But there are many other teas in the world, so when you get a chance, drink some. It's unfair that you can't drink all the teas in the world. Because there's too many. Sometimes life can be scary, especially when you're super tired and you don't know what to do about it. Well, I know what you can do about it. Use my new energy drink. Holy hoopo four and a half hour energy. So you can flap your wings all day long, just like a hoopo bird. Well, maybe just part of the day. I had one just a bit ago. As you can see, it really works. Don't be scared. Try, try it now. Is the hot savanna sun ever getting you down? Do you ever cross the African plain only to find there's no place to cool down once you reach the other side? Call now and let Bev's Brilliant Waiting Pools give you a free quote on installing a waiting pool wherever you need it. We build waiting pools that look just like the real thing and it'll fit your whole herd no matter how many. Supplies are going fast so make sure you tell your pathfinder to move it along and get your free waiting pool today. Life changes, and with my waiting pool, the change will be awesome. Leona Big Cat, here to give a safety lesson from the Savannah. I'm talking about your safety. Living with and studying lions for so long has taught me that you can hear a lion's roar from five miles away. That's why I'll never go without these, my Super Savannah silencers. When I put these on, and I'm protected from their mighty roars. Just to make sure everyone heard that right, I'll repeat it one more time. Are these things working right? Yesterday they were working so perfectly. Anyway, let's get back to where we were. Make sure to always wear yours out on safari too. And the most important thing, and the one thing you can never forget, have trouble reaching the top branch or shelf? Wish you could stretch your neck up a little higher to see the greener grass on the other side of the fence? Never fear, Giselle Taller here to make sure you're able to reach those lofty goals. And how best to do that, you ask? Well, with a ladder, of course. The San Diego Zoo has a room full of ladders, so we're giving them away to all of you safari adventurers, first come, first serve. Now whatever you can reach will be within your reach. Just look at Dr. Bev Bahati here. 
Usually in the safari when we're watching our animals, we climb a tree to stay out of their sight. But Dr. Beth Bahati here just has to hide behind a blade of grass. But now with my ladder, Dr. Beth Bahati can see everything. Take the first step right now. I'll see you soon. Detective Irvin Carter here, Savannah Victims Unit. Detective Ike Carter here, ditto. When we're investigating the scene of crime, it's important to see all the evidence clearly. That's why we never go anywhere without our sunglasses. Justice never fades. And it looks cool in shade. In stores now! Detective Ike Carter here, Savannah Victims Unit. Detective Irving Carter, ditto. Hey, you in the back! Yeah, you in the back! And maybe you in the front! We just got an alert over the radio that someone was still talking. We play it by the book and always follow the rules. So let's all quiet down and start paying attention. The show's about to start.